Okay, in this video I want to clear up a common misconception about cellular respiration. So although the process requires oxygen the, and, pro, and produces carbon dioxide, okay, the oxygen molecules from the O2 are reduced to water. They're not incorporated directly into CO2. All right, and this is during the citric acid cycle, so the oxidative uh, decarboxylations and such. So it's true that oxygen atoms are returned as part of CO2 to the atmosphere, okay? That is true. But the CO2 released from cells, however, does not contain these specific oxygen atoms that were consumed as part of oxidative phosphorylation. So the oxygen at the end of the electron transport chain that receives the, uh, the reduced elect or the re receives the electrons as the final electron acceptor and picks up two protons to form water, okay, that is where the oxygen goes. Um, it's not then used in the citric acid cycle in the production of CO2, okay, by oxidative phosphor, uh, by oxidative decarboxylation. All right, and um, one can demonstrate this by incubating living cells in the um, in an atmosphere that contains the isotope of uh, contains a different isotope of oxygen, essentially oxygen 18 here, instead of the naturally naturally occurring oxygen 16. And in this experiment, what is found is that the CO2 released from the cell is the, of the form oxygen-16, so the normal oxygen we're used to, um, not the isotope. So the oxygen atoms um, in the released CO2, they do not directly come from the atmosphere, but from inorganic molecules, or from rather organic molecules that the cell first made, then oxidized as fuel. Okay, so these are coming from organic molecules that the cell made itself. They're not coming directly from the atmosphere. And that's the big thing um, that you need to realize is that, they are, that this oxygen is not coming from, um, from the atmosphere. That it's, it's rather coming from these organic molecules. So I just want to put that out there for clarity purposes.